Hi friends. So I just kind of wanted to share with you what I am doing. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you all this grass and it's like heavy duty grass. It's like you got to take a pickaxe to get rid of it. So Thane did the roundup, but it didn't do anything. It's, it's really weird, but okay. Here. I all right. So as you can see all this grass and it's, it's tough. So, and it's just really tough. And I started, I have a couple that I had done and, uh, yeah, so my thing is, or our thing is, we want to do, get all the grass, see where we have all this, this nice rock, um, and, and it's all the way around the property, and so are the house, and, uh, so my thing is to get all this beautiful again. Last summer when we stayed here, it was beautiful. It was clean, it was, you know, there was no grass, it was nice so that's our goal and that's what i'll be doing so i'll kind of show you the the progress okay here we go yeah all we're doing is fun of weeding just uh the old-fashioned way because we sprayed some good old classic ground clear we got a quite a few more gallons of that stuff left too but it just doesn't seem to really do a very effective job on some of the weeds here. So we're doing what we can to just manually pick right. them up or pull the weeds and clump the grass out and just fill the wheelbarrow and then haul them out of here. Yeah, so my thought was since I, you know, I've just started doing it and the roots are like, they're really thick. Yeah, it's looking a little better. But you know, we've got a long ways to go. Let me go find Thane and see what he's doing. Okay, there's Thane and he's busy. But now he's using the hoe so I can pick up the pickaxe. I took a little break because he took my pickaxe. <laughs> so I guess I'll be doing this too. All right, we'll, we'll give you some progress in a little bit. Uh, so apparently we're still having problems with water. Um, so we, I'm gonna turn the camera around. So we ended up um, going into town. We got a tote full of water. So now we need to empty it again, again. Yeah, Thane just reminded me to say again. <laughs> so now we're gonna go ahead and empty it in, in the deal that's in the garage. So we have water again and we can shower and we can do what we need to do until Nick can come out and figure out what is going on. I know it's crazy so yeah I don't know so yeah stay tuned okay so what are we what are we doing right now okay so we got a, a new little pump system here a little 12 volt we're gonna try to use okay and not have to do the two-step transfer just a direct transfer okay. just plug this guy in and then hook it up to the truck battery extend okay. it but before I do I gotta put a little oil but okay tablespoon or half a tablespoon to and then prime it with a little water in the pump before we take it off and then we'll test it and make sure it comes through the hose fine i mean even without the pump it'll probably come through the hose fine just because of the pressure of the water and all that but uh, we do want the pump to be able to you know force it through faster and quicker to do the transfer so hopefully it'll work well. We'll find out in a few minutes. Okay, fingers crossed. Let's film it.
Okay, much tighter. Okay, so he's going to start the engine. <sighs> okay, he just said he has no idea if this pump works. It's been sitting around for two years. Ugh. So, let's see if we could kind of... Get in, finagle your way in. water. Nice. Okay, now let's just put this. Let's go. Okay. Do our direct transfer. Next time we do this, I'm going to have a, I'm not going to duct tape stuff together. I'll just have two wires, the right gauge that I'll just splice together into one nice neat, neat solution. These are insulated if you look at the closet. Okay. Okay. Hook, hooking it up again. Running. Okay. It's Let me running. Get Okay, so he's gonna um, open the lid yep. so we can get more in. I mean, it's just so it. Right, right, the vacuum. Yep, yep. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, so let's see. This is full. I'm gonna try to show you where the line is. Do you want to point to where the line is? There right you go. Here. Okay, line's right there. All right, let's see how long it takes. Do we have a phone or? Okay, so it's 5.30. So we'll see how long it takes to 
to empty this out in the tank in the garage. And that's our magic. Pumping it pretty hard it looks like. I don't know what the pressure is, but I'm hoping it'll go faster than the other submersible pump did. We'll see. Go ahead. If this works pretty fast, which is supposed to be 360 gallons an hour, which we only got 275 here to start, so I would expect this thing should, with a few just going up in elevation a few feet from where this is, plus it has the pressure of the water, the weight of the water helping push through too. I would expect we're going to see this done in 30 or 40 minutes, but won't know until we actually time it and see. And then I'll go ahead in the near future and cut these wires right here. Just cut them so I can take the clips and I'll uh, use some wire nuts or something to tie these together with some other longer uh, spools of wire I got so I can have a custom thing ready to go. Right, so these cables will be just custom just to do this. Yep. Okay, that's a great idea. That way I won't have to do all this kind of finagling Frankenstein kind yeah. of thing with battery cables together. Right. And less stress. Part. Less stress. Okay, so perfect. I didn't know if the pump even worked. I didn't want to invest the time of cutting and splicing and right. you know, doing a custom cable solution for this. It works, it works. Woohoo! Yeah, it's awesome. Well, it fast <clears> enough. Yeah, well look. Well, pretty quick. And it's only been a couple of few minutes. So. Yeah, it oh. might actually be done in 20 or 30 minutes. Yeah, That'd well, that would be amazing. Okay, cheers. Okay, cheers. Okay, I just wanted to show you this um, view of this and how he just draped it. So I just kind of wanted to show you. And look, it's coming. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? It's going fast. It's awesome. So, but no, I wanted to kind of show you the cables and just so you have a different view on what's going on. Ugh. So, anyways, pretty cool. Yeah, it's nice to work with your brain instead of with your muscles. It's pretty cool. So, this is the uh, air compressor and little uh, gauge for measuring uh, the pressure on the... Uh, or the bladder tank as I played with that the last few days too, trying to see if that impacts what's going on here. Um, if we put the new pump in like close to two weeks ago, and at the time we had a full tank of water, so we really didn't do a lot in the way of testing to make sure the pump's really doing its job. Um, it looked promising and uh, that's where we kind of stopped at, and we never really looked into it again until we started realizing we're getting the alarm condition again, and we're not seeing um, water come through. So we went ahead and have been playing with this since for the last few days, trying to see if there's any way I can figure out how to get this thing working. The pump, when I depressurize the bladder tank, the pump does fire on when we have the uh, turn the RO system on and it seems to be pressurizing or trying to but I'm starting to think the new pump is probably a new broken pump so I'm waiting to hear back from the plumber I'd like to have his opinion because I'm not real not the expert in this stuff All right friends things reading the specs um, apparently the little pump is getting a little hot he just has to figure out the time frame to run it so we don't burn it out. It says the, it warns about the pump getting hot and not to operate it for more than two hours at a time. Okay, so we're safe. Yep. Okay, and I wanted to show you quickly, look. And then Thane just checked it inside and he said it was half full. So, oh, life is good. All right, friends. I wanted to show you where the level is now. I think you can see it. As I shine the light down in there. Try not to lose my phone.
Okay, so this is where we're at now. It's going down, slowly but surely. Okay, so I'm showing you this filter, and this filter needs to be changed, what did you tell me, every six, every six months? Every six Okay. Comes from the RO system. Okay. You see it just dropped a nice, clean, pretty one in here. Okay. We have a couple more spares, but probably next... Next year we should order another box of them. You might want to change them more frequently because this has only been about five months. And this one is nasty, ugly. Yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's pretty disgusting. We must have had some really bad bunch of sediment come through. Right. And, uh, right. Anyway, what we'll, I'm, yeah. Been waiting for the plumber to get up here, but unfortunately... You know, I didn't want to try to trouble, do all the troubleshooting myself and figuring out just and isolating what the real problem is here. But we're to the point now where we've got to get generating some more water. The weather hasn't been cooperating. The road's really muddy and slick, so the plumber can't get up here today. And I've tried taking this off recently in the past to try to do some troubleshooting, but it just wouldn't come off. Um, I think the last time the plumber... Uh, hand tightened it he just put it on really tight anyway my little leveraging tool is able to really rock it a bit and try to finally get it loose um anyway i won't tighten it up so tight but we come over here this is where that disgusting filter came from and unfortunately in this line this is the supply line from outside in the culvert and the pre-filtered uh, water. It's only been filtered through one filter out there. Anyway, we have one shutoff in here that will allow me to remove that safely. What we really need in line here is like another spigot here so I can just attach a hose and run it out the garage outside so I can drain this. So what I have to do instead is I have to drain it through the little inlet um, of the uh, RO filter here. And this is probably going to be messy. I've got, and it'll be slow because I can only do whatever container I've got down here. And this is about as big as I can maneuver down there. Right. And I've got to basically get all the water out of the ladder tank that's out in the culvert through this system and depressurize the whole system out there and then put everything back together and repressurize it. And I'm on my lunch hour, so I'm going to try to make this fast. Watch out, dog. You're going to freak out. Okay. Yeah, it's very messy. Find one with a handle. Nice. A Found a bucket. So he's going to try that. And that's coming from outside? Yeah. Oh, shoot. So how much? That's all that's in that bladder tank. That's it? Can't be. Okay, so he's going to haul the rest of the dirty water. Pressure right now. Okay. I have a hard time believing. All right. So, and in his, his instructions, I don't know if you heard that, he should have zero pressure. So that's what we're looking for. So Nick's kind of gave him some verbal instructions to um, calibrate this. Looking for 30. Come on. 
Yeah, he's texting the plumber again. Thank goodness for the plumber. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard it, but he's going to grab another filter. He's going to change it out in here. So then all filters will be changed and clean. And clean. All right, friends. Okay, as we climb back down with the clean filter. Put pressure off. Depressurizing. You got to take both of these. I can't do one and make it come off. I need both. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how dirty this one is. Considering what little water we use, yeah. You can see here how it hasn't gone all the way through. Right, right, right. It's still right. on the outer rings. Okay, I didn't think I got that, but yeah, you can see. I'm going to lift it up, and you can see. It didn't go all the way through, but that's okay. Let's get a clean one in here. Let's just start over. Ugh. Hi, friends. Got to get this working. This is insane. I'm sure it's just uh, a little crazy glitch that we're just not... I guess it's got to be aligned perfect. Yeah, you get you get aligned this sucker just right. Okay, no problem. And it'll let you know if it's not aligned right. All right. If you are not wanting to start. Now, to tighten it, you just need one of those deals, huh? Yeah, because I don't like tightening it real tight. Just as long as it doesn't leak. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's see what else Nick's got to say. No, you don't need to be eating that. Shame on you, Martine. Oops, starting to rain again. Laziness. And you probably have little. All right, so you just plug that in, and that's what made the noise. It's coming out. I'm gonna. Okay, what do we got here, sir? Uh, pressure is at ten five. But it's not on yet. No, I want to just wait a moment for the pump to finish. I'm just curious to see if it gets all the way up closer to 40. That's what it should do. Okay. All right. In vessel out staying to zeros. Because that has to be turned on. It's got to be turned on. So, so this is the vessel in and out. It's got to be turned on to move. The filter in and out does not have to be on to it's move. And as you can see, it's moving. It's a little above 40. Okay, but it's not there yet, is it? Yeah, oh, it's yeah, above it is. 40. It is above 40. Okay, I see. I see. Yeah. All right, let me show Let's you this see next if the one. Shut off. Excuse me. All right, so Thane just said it's not pumping. He's going to go ahead and close it, keep it dry. We've got some rain here coming again. All right. We need to also repressurize one of the trucks tighter. We'll do that after Yeah, we got a low tire in the pickup. See? What else gonna do? Pressure right down side, pump did what it was supposed to do. Any chance in hell we're gonna be able to generate water again. Hi you guys. That's not a good sign, is it? Well yeah it is. It does that. Then it'll come on. But I don't know why it's on one. Oh, okay. That's a bad sign. Oh no. Yeah, and I don't know, your brine is way not, this isn't right. The water flow has been increasing slowly. Well, and your filter is going up too. 
your filter's on two now. Well, I'd say 30. Okay. So your in is 30 and your out is about 30 also. So, yeah, I don't know a thing. You want to come take a look at this? My friends. Not if you heard him. Okay. All right, you guys. It looks like it's coming back up a little bit. But the brine is still all messed up. Those, like the product and the recirculation, they're always, and the brine's always around the same. You can also see how the recirculation's so hazy here. Yeah. That might be part of the problem, is it's just having to flush a lot of bad shit out in the water lines okay. and stuff. And maybe we got some really dirty water down in that bottom tank, the main 1,500-gallon <laughs> reservoir. Right, right. You know? Ooh, okay. And mm. maybe it just takes a while to calibrate itself. Okay. Okay, friends, here we are. Another load of water. Thing got the gadget. Um, in the mail the other day, thank goodness, because now you don't have that Frankenstein rigging thingy up. It's just pretty much cut and dry what he did. So, let's see. Here we go. That's how he did it. humming away and then see if I can get through here oh boy he didn't leave me much room to get through yeah. it's like oh my gosh suck it in do the fan sit here in the shade maybe and just watch and listen for anything weird I can do Got that the high pitch of the pump working okay and that flow of that I brought it up closer to the top so you should always hear the water running. I can hear the water can you hear the water friends Yep, okay. Then I'm going to go hop back to work. And I know it takes about 40, 45 minutes to transfer all of that, so I'll check out here like in 30 minutes. Okay, that sounds great. Now, I'll start my stopwatch. Okay, perfect. If it gets really low on the tank, let me know. All if right. If it gets pretty high above the okay. 300. Okay, all right, awesome. Know. Okay, thanks, handsome. Well, all right. I'll be out here to check when I can. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So I just kind of wanted to add, um, he talked to the plumber the other day, he's trying to do his diagnostic, diagnosing, and it's the brine. It's this deal that's broken, so he, has, he had to order a new one. I don't know, guys, maybe a week, two weeks. And then we get the plumber out here, and he puts it back together, and we have fingers crossed. That's what is going on. So anyways, that's our update that we have Okay, friends, so I'm just kind of catching up a little bit. I'm just out here um, keeping an eye on things. So nothing, if something goes crazy, I can turn it off. So yeah, so I have my little, like there's my stool. I'm going to sit here and it's kind of, um, I can, what's the word? Um, I can see the water, where the water is on the tote. And then I can hear the water going into the tank. So I'm gonna hang here and just chill out for a little bit and just kind of keep my ears and my eyes open. So I gave Martine a, um, a bath this morning, but last night I went ahead and clipped them. We got some new clippers and um, I used a two on him. I left his tail and just used the scissors, just trimmed it up a little bit. But I haven't done his little face. I did a little bit on his forehead, but he doesn't like that, so. Um, I ordered a little muzzle because I'm always thinking he's, he's going to bite me, but we'll see. Hopefully I can get his little beard and his little head kind of um, trimmed up without putting the muzzle on him. He's doing really well. Um, I'm just really pleased with him. He does get anxious um, and he doesn't do well at night still. He's still like, they know, 
come in the room and he'll growl and um, start barking. So, um, so we know he was abused. He's an abused baby. So we just have to be love him and, and just give him lots and lots of love. So anyhow, saying that, um, I moved the crate from our bedroom and I moved it in front of the door. And so that's where he sleeps. And then I went ahead and put a little, a light little blanket over it. So it's kind of dark. And then he'll go in there about 10 o'clock. And then when Thane wakes up in the morning, um, then he'll let him out. Or if I'm up, in the sometimes I'm up in the middle of the night worried about him, so then I'll let him out. So, so far that's been working really well. He hasn't peed in his crate, fingers crossed. Ugh, anyhow. So hopefully having water, I can get laundry finished and things done and it'll be good once we get this all straightened out, it'll be fine. Thank goodness for totes. <laughs> okay, anyways. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, guys. This is a tarantula. And he just looks like he is going somewhere. He's huge. He's probably about three inches. Anyways, gross. Got to make sure the dog stays away from them because they are poisonous. Yuck. Well, kind of quick. He's huge. He's huge. Just leave him there and then it'll be fine. Ew. Oh, yucka. Okay, Thane. Good job, Thane. Good job. Uh, throw him. There you go. Woo! Awesome, thank you. Okay, you guys, so wow, it's already like a half. That's pretty cool. Woohoo! Yeah, it's filling up pretty good. So I think it's like halfway now. Yay! Okay, so Thane's going to stop it because I, I can't do this. He wants me to... I uh, I can't. I just can't bring myself to do that. Oh, yeah, do? I can't. Disconnect. Okay. Red first. All right. Now okay. it's off. Now it's off. Okay. Well, let's leave this here. Okay. Shut the engine off. I okay. Charge the battery. All right. Okay. Okay. And then the water. I found another one just like this pump, but it's AC powered. So and it's okay. like thirty nine bucks, tenth of a horsepower. Oh wow. Same, same okay. capacity, three hundred and thirty gallons an hour. Right. Um, but it'll plug into you know the wall outlet or an extension cord. So, well, that, that might be better than doing this. Yeah, this is. It's great in the field when okay, you. Do you have to shut the water off, or did you do that off? already? Nope, just or... leave everything as it is. Okay. All right. Then, it's not going to do nothing. Okay. After work, we'll fire it all back. Up. Okay. Perfect.